Yo, what's up everyone? Um, I just wanted to recap on my overall week and just kind of show you guys what I did. So I did have these four stocks on my watch list, FCX, Apple, Zillow, Facebook, but I saw there to be a potential opportunity for Tesla. And what do you know, it played out according to plan. So this was around Monday, I decided to take as a position at this low point. And I've noticed in the past that whenever there's a sell-off like this on Tesla, like it has in the past, a sell-off, it just pushed right back up and leveled out. And of course, when there's a little sell-off, it just pushes up and just made higher highs. So I saw there to be a potential opportunity. I took it slow. I didn't go full in until I saw that there was full confirmation. So as you can see here, I added more, added more aftermarket hours. I actually sold some of my profit here just because I just wanted to lock in some profits. And then, wow, look at that. It took a big dip, decided to buy in more at the dip, Tomorrow, I didn't want to add more until there was full confirmation because it could have easily kept rejecting itself and even touched this SMA line. So when there was confirmation, I decided to add more to my position and scale from there. So I wasn't even fully invested when I was in Tesla. I think I was like 60, 70 percent invested. So I decided to lock in all of my profits around this price point. And if you're asking why, I decided that this was the price point that I plan to 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 sell, uh, to sell everything because it's at a previous resistance level. As you can see here, based off previous patterns, it has rejected this general price point at around 882. So here back, back like last month got rejected, you know, and it's been like consolidating, trying to hold above 900, but it has been rejected in the past. So I want to set up my plan. I didn't want to just hold and just see what happened. Sure, it could have uh, passed this resistance, but I decided that Based off previous patterns, it made sense for me why I wanted to sell everything. So I sold everything, made a little bit over 3% on that. And which is crazy because the stocks on my watch list didn't have Tesla, but I saw Tesla to, uh, for be, to be an opportunity. So shortly after, shortly after I sold Tesla, I saw there to be an opportunity on Apple. So I did take a little position on Apple and now I'm actually fully invested. So as you can see here, uh, I took a position around this price point it wasn't even like confirming this EMA line. It was consolidating a lot. And now it's kind of testing this EMA line. So here's the thing. I am fully invested in this stock, but I know that my intentions for Apple is to hold it for as long as I need to until it makes sense for me to sell for a profit, until it touches a previous, resist previous resistance. So maybe around this price point here. Even if this stock falls back to the SMA line, which it very well can. You know, these tech companies, they don't just have to go up. There's healthy pullbacks like it has done in the past. You see this high point, it pulled back. High point pulls back, high point pulls back, high point pulls all the way back down to the EMA line. Very much high point pulls back. And now it's confirming this EMA line, but it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to create another high point. It doesn't have to keep pushing. Anything can happen. This can definitely keep pushing down, but even if I'm down 5%, if I'm down $500, which is 5% of my account size, I'm not going to be super devastated, maybe a little bit, not devastated, but just kind of like, dang, okay, like that's a big dollar amount. But I know my intentions is to hold it for the long run. Now, if my intention was to day trade it or, or swing trade it for like two or three days, I would lock in profits now because it's consolidating or actually I wouldn't lock in everything, but I would at least sell 50% of my shares so I'm more comfortable and have more buying power if it does continue to sell off. So I am up a little bit over 1%, which is okay. My average purchase price point is not the best, but I know that my margin of profit is 5%. My margin of loss would be, I would say around this area, around 2%. Now, I'm not going to sell it if it drops down 2% or even 5%. I'm in it for the long run for this stock until it makes sense to sell. So that's my plan. Now I want to talk to you guys about the stocks on my watch list that I paid attention to on Sunday of last week. So these stocks, including FCX and Zillow, they're killing it. All these stocks on my watch list. Look at this right here. This is insane. So this, this week, FCX, Freeport, McMoran, Inc., now it's at previous resistance. So this happened in around five days. So on Monday, if I weren't trading Tesla or Apple, this stock that I found in my handy dandy um, stock scanner, you know, which I look at every Sunday, 
I saw this to be a potential opportunity because it was up around this price point on Monday. And based off previous pattern, it's been crazy holding up, up above this SMA line for the longest time. And I feel so much more confident when the overall direction is in my favor. So this def this stock was definitely one of my watches. I was watching it every day. I was like super like, wow, like this thing is a perfect, this is what consider, this is what I consider a perfect plan, a perfect, perfect execution of a stock and going according to my plan. Now, of course, this doesn't happen always, but of course, when they do happen, it's super satisfying knowing that I planned to get in here and sell here. So if I were to, if I was in this stock, I probably would have sold earlier, probably like around this price point here. And that's still a good chunk of, of profit right there, 7%, you know? So that's that. And Zillow too made a killing. I think it's at, look at this, man, past resistance level of where I planned that a resistance level would be. So it's crazy. Like back in Monday, four days ago, I was watching this stock, but I was paying more attention to Tesla and Apple. And I don't regret it because I did make some money on, on that. But Zillow too would, would have been one that I would have traded. As you can see, the overall direction is so much in my favor that I would have felt super confident getting in with a little bit here, testing it, hold, sitting on my hands until this price point confirmed this EMA line, which is gives me the double confirmation telling me, okay, man, are you, you, sh you can add more now, like you're safe. <laughs> But of course it could get rejected, but this is just an indicator telling me that I have a reason now behind adding more to my position. I wanna have a reason behind everything I do in the stock market. So of course this stock played according to plan. It's wow, 17% in five days, guys. That's insane. That's insane, especially for Zillow, such a big reputable company like that. That's pretty great. So of course there was probably a news catalyst that influenced this stock to go higher. I'm not sure what it would be, but uh, there you have it, guys. The other stocks I was looking at too oh, was Facebook. I think Facebook is confirming the EMA line, but kind of testing both the SMA and EMA line. Still kind of consolidating around these price points here, struggling to go above, struggling to go below. So it's, in my opinion, it's at a critical point. It could go higher, could make higher highs, pass above this SMA line, or it could get rejected. Who knows? And same thing on Apple. It's kind of consolidating, not really, well, it's a, it's confirming a little bit the EMA line, but now it's kind of testing it. So it could push down back even 10%, who knows? No one knows. And it could go up. So of course I want it to go up, but if it goes down, I'm not gonna be devastated because I know my intentions for Apple is to hold it for the long run until it makes sense to sell. So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video this week, it was great. I scaled my account size double of what I was trading with last week. Now I'm trading with $10,000. And the reason being is I'm, I'm comfortable trading with that amount. You know, I'm taking it day by day. And I just want to remind myself that last week's profits and the weeks before and the weeks before, that doesn't matter. It all comes down to next week. So that's why I love the stock market. It's so challenging the way I do things because I swing trade, you know, it's it's and sometimes long-term stuff, but I just wanna make sure I do my part in picking the stocks that I see value in, picking the stocks that are that prove themselves to me by having overall direction in my favor and only getting in when it makes sense at the good deal price points and not going all in, but testing it, getting a little bit just to get some skin in the game, going a little bit. I like to test it, I like to see where it's going and if it drops 5%, I'm gonna lose a fraction of what I would have lost if I was fully invested. So there you have it, guys. Happy Friday. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, well-earned weekend, I think, man. This, weekend was cr this week was crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed this weekend, and I'll see you guys on my next video. I'll probably post a video this weekend of other stocks that I see value in that are a potential good deal range. So peace.